Nike is coming up with a new shoe, and so we're throwing a big party to debut that. So what we're doing is um, having a 5K race in Moab, Utah. Um, and it's going to be a secret location. So it'll be about 5,000 at um, racers. And when they get to this secret location, the first 100 runners will be surprised with a lifetime supply of Nike shoes. The guests are, or the runners are only going to know where they're starting and that they need to fundraise for um, the Get Moving charity to get kids moving and to fight obesity and be healthy. Um, it's going to be an unknown route where it'll, the route will be all lit up with um, neon. We'll have drones following the race course, um, misting them with water because it's a des desert, so it's going to be hot. We'll have those Twitter pods, I forgot to say this, Twitter pods set up along the race course so that you know, those people standing there will be tweeting what's actually happening in the race. You know, like a huge group is coming through at mile right. two. And then guests arrive at this big blown out neon themed party. Um, they have no idea that it's coming. They just know that there's a special event afterwards. Um, when they arrive, they will, all guests will check in their old shoes, which will be donated to um, just local charities and they'll receive a new, the new Nike product. So when they arrive, they're, um, they'll be greeted with servers dressed in neon, neon tape, um, drinks and food to reflect that theme, and um, a lot of music. Um, at the end, they'll be um, surprised with some like neon bands like Walk the Moon or Neon Trees who kind of incorporate that theme into their acts anyway. Um, and then at the event, they'll have interactive um, entertainment with rock climbing, um, digital walls to customize a new pair of shoes, um, illuminated treadmills with running coaches, um, and live streaming of all of this on large screens. Um, neon stretch spots and on-the-spot massages. Um, and we forgot to mention... Um, and then we'll just have a lot of textual lighting, digital walls, social media will be streaming on this tent. Um, and then um, the 10 to 15 runners who get the most donations will be invited to a VIP tent with some Nike ambassadors, celebrities, um, and fun stuff. So that is really our idea, and just giving back with a shoe launch. So that's good, but thank you. That's yeah, a great, great presentation. <laughs> Do you realize what's interesting is that none of the content that we had today was planned. And it was all done in the last 30 minutes. And it was pretty remarkable. I'm very inspired by hearing everybody. Uh, the ideas are all open source. Hopefully tomorrow you can take some of these ideas, learn some new things. And most importantly, the tables that you're sitting at, make sure that you're, you're exchanging uh, email addresses because this is called really deep networking. You go to a cocktail party, you don't know who the hell you're talking to. You're working with these people, and so new friendships form out of these things, new groups form out of these things, entire agencies can form out of these things. Uh, an expression that was used today was um, deep networking. So if you're looking for an opportunity where you're not necessarily just meeting and saying hello and exchanging business cards, this is really an opportunity to sit and develop and learn how your colleagues and, and supplier partners and planners uh, and clients really think. Um, this is a great opportunity for uh, people to come and meet uh, like-minded people in their industry, but more than that, uh, it, was a, it was a fun opportunity, it was a fun experience. It's a wonderful experience in terms of meeting new people, schmoozing with new people, getting together, brainstorming, and coming up with a plan. And some of them are really, really good. I really love to see people get engaged and be thoughtful about all of their events, and the Planathon really helps people do that.